Hi, this is Jeff Sloss. I'm in the Zoller Video Lab here in Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to do a short video on the features of the Z-Control mobile app. So get your phones, here we go. After you've installed the Z-Control mobile app on your phone, go ahead and open it. Here we are logged in and you can notice that Location 1 has four devices. So from the Locations page, we can hit the plus sign which would give us the ability to add another location. We may have uh, devices at multiple houses. We may have devices from friends that shared their devices with us. And then the other plus sign, once you're in a location, if you hit the plus sign there, now you're gonna have the ability to add a device. The easiest way to do that is to scan the data matrix code that's on the device ID label. By scanning that data matrix, it'll walk you right through setting up that device to get it online and to add it to your account. The other thing you'll notice on this page is each device will have a certain number of buttons. The one that's probably most prevalent is the silence button, which is very helpful if you're remote and you want to silence an alarm on your device in, a, in another location. Just simply press that button and in, within 30 seconds, that alarm will become silent. Some devices have a test or a run button. Those buttons will allow you to remotely activate a test or a run on the device. And then we'll just pick a device. If, if these were an alarm, we'd know that. We would have gotten a, a notification. One of these green check marks would probably be red. And we can investigate further as to what the reason is. And you can see if, a, if an alarm is going, you can silence it from here, you can reset it. Um, we can look at the device setting and status. And every device that we look at is going to have slightly different information. The APAC is simply a high water alarm, so there's not a lot of settings or information that we need to change. For example, if we look at the alert settings, we scroll up and down, there's, there's maybe 10 or so here, but that's really all you need with a high water alarm. And you can see how easy it is to turn on and off. So if I look at the top one there for input one trigger, you can see all three are turned off. I'm gonna touch each one of them to turn them back on. And now I'll get a, a push, a text, and an email for input one being triggered. So next, let's just look at the Pivot Pro control panel. Now, a Pivot Pro control panel is going to have a lot more features and alarms and settings than a simple high water alarm will. So if we look under alert settings, you're going to see many, many more things that might occur and send off an alarm. And you can turn those on and off right from here. So remember, this, the alerts that you have turned on here will be sent to the emails and phone numbers that you have here. Getting back into the Pivot Pro control panel, every device has their device settings. These are things that you can change and configure. And then a final feature to point out is this share device feature at the bottom of the page. Notice that I don't have this device shared. I can hit the share device button. I can put the email address of the person I want to share with and then hit the share button there. And Sharing your device will result in that person receiving an email asking if they want the device being shared in their account. If they reply they do, then they will have it listed in their account and it'll initially appear in a location named Shared Devices. So while that was an overview of the Z-Control mobile app, you may want to see more details about getting a specific device online and then into your app. And there's several of those videos on our YouTube channel and at zollerpumps.com.